One of the things that may hold you back from switching to Express LRS is the need to have to flash your transmitter as well as your receiver with firmware. Now, while this can be really easy, it may be perhaps a little bit daunting or it could just be an unnecessary pain in the butt. So in this video, we're gonna go through how to get bound up with Express LRS without having to flash your firmware. We're actually gonna start with a brand new transmitter module straight out of the box, as well as with a brand new receiver. Now, before we get into using these, the first thing we're gonna to have to do is prepare our radio. So we're gonna head into our radio and create a new model and set that up with your mixer as you would normally. The key difference here is you're gonna to need to set channel five up as your arming channel and it should ideally be on a two position switch. You need to turn your internal receiver off and set the external receiver to CRSF, which is for Crossfire. We're now gonna head over to the Express LRS website, download the Lua script, plug your transmitter into the USB port and select USB storage mode. From here, you're gonna move the Lua script that you've just downloaded onto the scripts and tools folder in the SD card and drag that across. Once that's copied across, safely remove the device from your computer, power down your radio, and plug in your transmitter module. Power on your transmitter and press the menu button to go into the tools page and click on the Express LRS Lua script. If you get an error message saying you need the V1 firmware, head back to the Express LRS website, switch over to V1 and download the V1 Lua script and repeat the same process for moving the V1 Lua script onto the SD card in the scripts and tools folder. We're now gonna go into the V1 Lua script and confirm that it reads the transmitter. From here, we're gonna power down the radio. We're now gonna wire up the receiver to a free UART and make sure you wire the five volt pad up to a five volt pad on the flight controller that's powered by USB because we're gonna need this for the next step. To set up your receiver in beta flight, head into the ports tab and select serial for the UART you connected your receiver to. You're then gonna to head to the receiver page for beta flight 4.3 the configuration page if you're using 4.2 or earlier. We're now gonna change the receiver protocol to CRSF for Crossfire. Hit save and reboot and we're good to go. We're now gonna power cycle the receiver three times. So we just plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, and then wait for the double blink to happen. When the blue light blinks twice, that means the receiver is in binding mode. We're now gonna power on the transmitter, head back into the version one of the Lua script, and we're gonna scroll down to bind and click bind. You'll notice a difference in how the blue LED is flashing on your receiver. That indicates it's bound, and you can double check that by heading back to the home page, and you can see that you've now got full reception. To bind additional receivers to the same transmitter module, all you now need to do is, once you've wired up your additional receivers and created a model for them on your radio, power cycle those three times in a row to put it into binding mode, head into the lower script and press bind, and they'll be bound and you'll be good to go. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.